Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves a brand new promo coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team very soon. It looks like it's called Foot Freeze Versus, and there's two car designs on the loading screen. It shows, of course, like a fire, like a red, and then like a blue. It's like fire and ice. I don't even know if that's the exact wording or name of the cards, but this loading screen looks insane and there's a lot of leaks going around and we're trying to figure out what this promo is going to be about. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of ideas, a lot of theories, um, and hopefully those get cleared up as we move into the promo on Friday because this looks, this looks really interesting and really, really cool. It looks like Foot Freeze with a twist on it, right? Of course, we knew last year Foot Freeze is a promo where they did a lot of position changes with some really cool cards. And again, the car designs, as we see, look like the foot freeze, but it looks like this year, this versus part to it, there's going to be like two different versions of the card, which is very, very interesting. So I want to talk about that promo and everything we know as of right now, and all the leaks, of course, that are going on with that, and also talk about the market, because we do have a confirmed rating and a confirmed winner, Vinny Jr. has won the La Liga Player of the Month. That is leaked, right? So I think that SBC is going to come out tomorrow and Friday. There's a slight chance it could come out early today, but I think it's going to be a Friday release. Uh, and the market started preparing for that as well. We talked about that SBC a lot yesterday. I think there's going to be more to talk about. There's already more market movements having are happening because of it. And also the Sule upgrade happened and some Road to the Knockout cards dropped off big time with some teams not getting wins yesterday. Some of them went up as well, so we'll talk about that. And I want to talk about Team of the Group Stage cards. I know a lot of you guys, even though we have a new promo on the horizon, you're very curious about these items. And these cards actually dropped yesterday on foot because EA dropped lightning rounds on a Wednesday. It was actually kind of crazy. So let's get into this promo though and talk about foot freeze versus right foot freeze again you look at the car design it looks similar to the foot freeze card that we had last year with the ice around the edges with like the shattering and like the ice basically right frozen right but now we have two different car designs and this is where a lot of the confusion is what are the two different versions some people are saying that it's a five star weak foot and five star skill like the red one the fire might be the five star skill and then the 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 ice might be the five star weak foot. Uh, that's I don't think that's even confirmed. What we just know is we're gonna have some sort of versus, right? Supposedly it is gonna be cards impacts, objectives, and SBCs are all going to have like two different items. Now I don't know. Again, we don't know if this is gonna be like rule breakers where it's like. And Kunku had the two different SBCs, right? He had the shooting upgrade or the passing upgrade, right? Or maybe it was defending. I don't know. But there was two different versions of Nkunku. Is that going to be how this is? Or is it going to be like a skill move weak foot promo? And are there going to be position change, right? I, it's It seems like it's not for sure if there's going to be position changes as a part of this as well. We're probably going to learn more about that in the next day or so with an updated loading screen potentially today on Thursday. I would watch out for that because I bet they would add something to this uh, to kind of show maybe what it means. Like if you think about the uh, Adidas numbers up promo when they kind of give us give us some hints about how the cards are going to work uh that might happen today on a loading screen i would expect this to be upgraded as a part of our thursday content today um but a couple of the leaks right there's a lot of leaks that are floating around and these are what some of the guys are saying every car doesn't matter if it's in the packs with a team one or two sbc's objectives there's going to be two versions right again team fire and team ice and it sounds like team uh, fire is going to come out or team ice, whichever one's first is going to come out on Friday. Then the second team is going to come out on Monday. So it's going to be like two different teams or two different types, two sets of players like intertwined into one promo week, right? That's how it seems at the moment. I don't know. This, this to me is obviously brand new. It's like foot freeze, but it's still different. I'm just really curious to know, are there position changes, right? People are saying that there's not position changes. I mean, that would kind of, I guess, not be as hype as last year because a lot of what foot freeze was hyped for last year was the position changes. Uh, but the five-star weak foot, five-star skills, that's going to impact this game because those are two very important things. Whether a card has a five-star skill or weak foot boost, that's huge, right? And that is going to impact the market. People are going to sell items 
to go get those cards. So I'm very curious to see what these are, but that's kind of what we know as of right now. There's gonna be two different versions in some way, shape or form. Cards are gonna have two different sets of stats. Now, of course, some of the names that have been leaked for this promo, Taglifico is supposed to be the objective player on Friday. He's gonna get dropped with a fire and ice design again. Uh, that's part of that. We're going to go back to this tweet and talk about Vinny in a second, but some of the other cards, these are like official stats as well. Now, I don't know if this is like all the card designs here are shown with the red, like the fire version. Uh, but look at this Joe Gomez, 85 pace, 87 defense, 86 physical. Gabriel Jesus was 93 pace, 87 shooting, 91 dribbling. Uh, you've got a Rashford here with 93 pace, 92 dribbling, 87 shot. I mean, these are these are confirmed stats and players that are in this promo. I know it's again, if you don't like leak this leaks, this is again just such a big topic at the moment, but it's crazy to look at these cards and the boost that they're getting. Look at this Angel Correa, five star weak foot, right? Uh 88 pace, 89 shot, 90 dribbling. This card is gonna be disgustingly cracked. His gold item is so good already in the game. Uh, and then there's supposedly another showdown SBC that is leaked as well. Uh, coming sometime soon, uh, a Condogbia and a uh, Lucas Vasquez. Um, showdown SBC is supposedly going to be dropping pretty sh pretty soon between the Atletico and Real Madrid. Uh, matchup that is coming. So that's a leak that is out there as well. But Adama Traore, look at this card, man. 98 pace, 91 dribbling, 89 physical. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. So again, we don't know how these boosts are going to work, but some of the cars that are in this promo with stats confirmed. Mbabu, 91 pace, 85 defense, 84 physical. Claude Maurice, look at this card, man. 90 pace, 80 physical. Green link to the rat. Ben Yedder, 87 dribbling. This guy is a really good, you know, in form already in this game. Give this guy this sort of card in this game of FIFA with the French links. It's going to be crazy, man. Also, a Schultz, a German left back with some pace. That's a really nice Bundesliga left back right there. So there's there's just a ton that is going on right now. A lot of these cards are getting leaked on Twitter. You're seeing stats and stuff like that. So there's a lot of question marks, but there's also a lot of things that are, I guess you could say, quote unquote, confirmed as well for these cards. Now we have not seen yet the card designs like added to the market i'm pretty sure um i don't think they've been actually added to the code yet so i don't see them in here in the game um so again there's just there's a lot of questions right the all we know is this promo is coming and it's coming on friday and it i mean five star weak foot five star skill upgrades that's going to impact the market regardless i mean i know that we have a lot of other promo cards that are out in this game um that are just very exciting and very fun to use. And people like to try these promo cards, especially with the gold market being so cheap this year. This Jota is so cheap right now, 427K. Uh, people like using promo cards, right? Because it fills that gap between the elite tier cards in this game and like your golds that have just been so cheap all year long because of supply. There's such an emphasis, uh, you know, pushed and placed on promo cards this year um, for people to put in their teams to continue upgrading their squads. I feel like this is going to be a perfect opportunity for EA to drop the market with some insane cards via SBC, via objectives, via cards that are on the market, because people love the weak foot and skills upgrade. If that's what this promo is about, five star weak foot, five star skills with like the fire and ice versions, um, then that's crazy. And if there's position changes as well on top of those, then that's going to make this market is going to, I mean, people are going to sell so many types of cards on this game to go and attain these brand new items on this market, right? I would really expect the market to take a big hit if there were position changes and like um, five-star weak foot, five-star skill boost because that would just be like an overload of insane players dropping on this game that we originally have not seen yet before, right? We haven't seen that many weak foot or skill move boosts. We've seen a couple, right? Like some of the SBCs and foundations have gotten some weak foot skill move boosts, you know, a plus one here or there, um, but it hasn't been like all around with a promo team yet. So you've seen a little bit of sell-off on the market. Like I just looked at that Jota, he was down. I think one of the biggest cards that's actually being panic sold right now is this Renato Sanchez. This is actually a little bit surprising. I think it might be because might be because of the Claude Maurice leaks for a League One center mid. This Renato Sanchez right now, 795k. He's down 100,000 coins. Uh, I think that like just all the insane cards that are being leaked right now, it's caused this card to drop down a decent amount. But the rest of the market is just kind of chilling, right? Um, so as we figure out more about 
that promo, that could impact some potential panic selling uh, later on. I still feel like this market, a lot of people with today, right, as we transition to talking about like today with weekend league rewards and with Thursday market, I feel like there's still a lot of people that have to go out and play games. So, you know, that Jota card, like I'm, I'm tempted if I had coins actually. Right now I'm, I'm in dire need of a few sales so that I can go out and pick some cards up to try to trade after rewards but this jota like he was literally 460 all day yesterday he's got one page of cards to like 460,000 coins i believe yeah one page of cards like that one that was at 427 that's really really cheap so if i had like you know 500k right now i think this jota might go back up to that for rewards you might see a few bounce backs i actually splashed some cash on some vinny in forums so i'm hoping for a bounce back on that today but as we learn more about what this foot freeze promo is like there could be some more panic selling because again position changes five star weak foot skill moves that would make some people sell cards to get coins to try out brand new cards on this game. So just be careful with that and just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as we maybe get another loading screen today talking about some stuff. But speaking about the market right now, let's talk about team of the group stage cards. We have rewards today. Soon after this video goes live, very soon after, rewards is gonna be released. And uh, these team of the group stage cards are pretty low. A lot of them have dropped off in price from where they were on Wednesday. Um, now, some of this is just people selling cards before the rewards time frame. But part of what also happened is EA dropped lightning rounds yesterday. They dropped 50K, 100K, and 125K lightning round packs on a Wednesday, which is crazy, right? I mean, EA is just dropping preview packs, lightning rounds whenever they want this year. And it, it's just kind of wild, man. It really is just crazy to me the amount of packs that they're dropping on this game. So you've seen these cards drop off a bit, right? Lewa was like 270. He's now down to 230. A lot of these group stage cards have dropped off. And I think they're going to rise after rewards. I think some people are going to see the price drops. They're going to, you know, open their rewards, get some coins. These guys might get packed a little bit at rewards. But I think, again, like you've seen, you've seen such a big drop off. And if people want to try some of these cards out, again, you have a lot of gameplay demand on a Thursday people um, playing their foot champs qualification games to get in for the weekend league. The team of the week this week is absolutely abysmal, right? Uh, you've got basically the whole entire team is at fodder price or like quote unquote discard, except for Bernardo Silva and Kingsley Coman uh, and Immobile actually. And this whole team is going to drop in price. Silva, Coman and Immobile are going to drop in price today with um, them getting supplied and then drop even more on the weekend with the red uh, team of the week packs that are given out and again the lightning round supply so this team of the week is not good which you might say hurts a little bit of like the demand for weekend league but if you have an insane promo coming out people are going to want to play weekend league so that they can get packs and rewards to open during the promo so i think there's going to be gameplay demand today and with the price drop offs that you've seen i think that some of these group stage cards will rise up so during rewards if you want to try to make a buy on a few of these like look at kiesa kiesa was 245 and was down to 219, went back up to 226, and right now he's 216, right? In, in the, the quiet before the rewards time frame, these guys have dropped back down. Marquinhos was down at 475. He's actually back up. I was looking to get him, uh, and I didn't. I did buy a couple Lewandowski's at 230. I like that card. I like Chiesa. I like Nkunku. Um, Bruno was actually all the way down during the lightning rounds at 730k look at this drop he went from 905 down to 730 he's back up almost 100,000 coins 730 was honestly pretty cheap for that card so he rebounded back trent is low um anthony's dropped down a lot tiago jalo is down a lot i do expect some of these cards to rebound back today after rewards and i do think that some of the other meta parts of the market might rebound back um like you know some of the gold cards maybe like a varan because he is down mendy um with with links to a potential leak that we see that might be coming today as well we'll talk about that so you know i do think you will see a little market rise after rewards but then today at 6 p.m on thursday with the content that maybe we do get with a player SBC or a team of the group stage SBC that's leaked um, and more information about the foot freeze promo uh, versus portion of that promo. I'm, I'm looking to quick flip this stuff. If you're, if you're buying anything for a rewards rise, I'm probably selling it around the 6 p.m. time frame or before then. If you see a nice rise, you can get out and take some profit. Uh, and that could be a case right there. So let's talk about some other panic selling, right? You've noticed this, this Vinny Jr. card is down. Uh, yesterday, there was a lot of leaks 
about this Vinny card, and you can see that his price was affected because of it. 670K down to 599. He's in like the 590, 600 range right now on this team, the group stage card. Now it was confirmed yesterday. Where's the tweet right here. It was confirmed by a very trusted leak source that Vinny has won La Liga player of the month, but these team of the group stage cards are not seen as a performance based in porn since they didn't upgrade the ones to watches. So when EA is doing player of the month, they're actually doing the upgrades off of Vinicius's uh 85 in form so he's getting a plus two off this 85 and the player of the month is going to be 87 rated now that i think that spc is going to be dropping tomorrow but that might mean the spc is a little cheaper and it's not as big of an upgrade it really depends on the price of this spc to me especially now since it's confirmed uh and you've got some people panic selling these cards it really depends on the price of this SBC for me uh, if it's worth it, right? If this SBC is anything less than like 800K, people are going to make probably some form of an attempt to craft it while it's out for like a month. Now, yesterday when this Vinny was panic sold, I bought five Inform Vinnies uh, at like 300 and 15 to 318,000 coins. Now I've sold two of them to Lazy's um, because he did bounce back to like 340. And I'm gonna hold these after rewards, right? I'm not getting them out. He's down to 320 again. I think that after rewards today, he might rebound back up uh, and go back to that 340 or 350 range and hopefully get out of him there. I bought an Edso to try to flip into trade and I've got my other Ubmakano still chilling here. Uh, but I made a couple buys again, like I said, I, I bought a Lewandowski 230, 227 and I bought a Tiago Jalo because I think those were just really cheap. I do think those are gonna rise today. So there's some transparency uh, on the transfer list right there. And that's kind of what I'm expecting for today on this game. I just need, okay, Edso sold at 155. I'm literally considering right now if both of these Etos would for some reason sell, I'm hoping to get my Eto out. I, I would literally break even on my Eto card so that I can go buy more team in the group stages and stuff before rewards. So that's kind of what I have no coins right now. This Eto is kind of locking them up. So I'm trying to sell some cards so that I can go buy some more and make some quick flip investment uh, with those coins right there. Now, another thing to talk about, and this is actually another thing that is a leak that we have two more things to speak about in this video really fast. Another quote unquote leak that we have is a team of the group stage SBC, Etienne Capu. This was released yesterday. It did not come out. I think this SBC might be coming today, right? Of course, team of the group stage, it's got to come before the end of team of the group stage. Um, and supposedly this card is Hullet Gang a Hullet Gang Etienne Capu. And just to kind of give you an idea of what that card's going to look like, if I can find him, he was on the popular page. He's not anymore. Uh, let me let me search up Capu for you guys really fast because if this guy is getting a Hullet Gang card or almost Hullet Gang, look at his pace, 48 pace. That means that this guy is getting a team of the group stage cards with like plus 30 pace. Supposedly, he's going to have like 78 pace and the rest of his stats are going to be above 80. That's kind of wild. So... A stat that is not good, though, is his agility. But this card has insane links. He is French and in La Liga. Think who links to him, right? Benzema, Fakir. EA is playing straight into the hands of the FIFA user base right now. So with this SBC, I don't know how it's going to be priced, you know, but so many people are going to be inclined to do it. Crafting it through 75 plus player picks or fodder they have from that, maybe. Um, and just the links that this card provides will be interesting. I want to see the card in SBC that is released today. And how much, of course, the price is, but that is a potential piece of content that might be coming today on Thursday. A couple other things that are going on in this market, right? The Sule has been upgraded. That was a fast upgrade. GG's to EA Sports. Uh, I think it was like four to five hours after the game. The Sule got upgraded to a 90. He got the plus two because Bayern won a 3 0 yesterday. Um, and so this card is looking disgusting. It looks so good. Uh, so GG's, if you did the Sule SBC, uh, that card is looking really, really nice right now at the moment. And you also had a lot of Road to the Knockout action, which yesterday wasn't a great day to trade with Road to the Knockouts because a lot of the cards that you could have made profit on, um, you know, they went down, right? Of course, one big game was postponed until today. We're going to have more Road to the Knockouts live action um, today. So there's going to be more opportunity to trade with some of the Europa League and the Conference League cards with fluctuations. But Fred's card went down a lot, man, because they could not win against Young Boys with the whatever B squad they played. 
uh, yesterday. It was crazy to see the squad that was were released and who played for the game. Uh, Fred was looking like he was going to be a 500K card, and I fully believe that he was going to, um, but they did not end up winning the game. So he went down to 370s post game. He's back up to 400K now, and I honestly think this De Young is still overpriced. 600K for this De Young card. I know that he's got plus three pace and plus three defense over the 88 rated item, but I still think this card should be like 500,000 coins. I think this is still like 100,000 coins overpriced, uh, even though he he did drop off about 100K from where he was. So I don't know, man. That one's just a bit confusing to me. Uh, but I guess La Liga links are kind of hyped at the moment right now. And these cards are rare. But Jesus Navas card, his card went down in price. Werner's even went down. So again, Verissimo went extinct though because, uh, of course, Benfica is through ahead of Barcelona. And he's going to go to an 84 rated card when these upgrade. So there was a lot of actual down movements yesterday on those items. But a lot of the road to the knockouts just keep chilling in price, right? Sané is 310. Um, Graven Birch is almost up at 100K, probably because of those Tagliafico links as well, or leaks. Um, so today we're kind of taking a look at the up, you know, Isak, your Fakir cards playing. The Traore and the Sun, supposedly this game is postponed because of some COVID stuff. So the games that are postponed, just be careful with those um, until they are, you know, they're going to be played. There might be some delay. I don't know what's going to happen with those. Uh, but of course, the the game between um, Atalanta and uh, Valencia yesterday, or is it is it Valencia? I, need, I forget the team that, uh, what is this team? What is this team? It's Villarreal. Villarreal and Atalanta, not Valencia. Villarreal, so Dan Juma and Joaquim Mele, aka the mailman, their game's going to be today. It was supposed to be yesterday. It's going to be today. So there's going to be more fluctuations with these cards. Again, if the promo this weekend is insane and the and the market drops because of it, you might see a few of these cards drop down some as well. It just depends on when the upgrade for the road of the knockouts is going to end up coming through. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Let's go, man. Another Eto sold. Come on. If this guy sells, then the cheapest one on the market, unless somebody else lists, is 1.6 mil. I'm going to undercut that by 5K and hopefully get the sale, man. That would be fantastic. So that is kind of what is going on with my account right now at the moment. I'm trying to get some coins so I can buy some more cards before rewards. But that's the video for today, boys, right? An insane promo looks to be coming. There's going to be rewards today. I do expect a little market rise and maybe some more interesting content today on Thursday as well. Alongside of our normal marquee matchups, um, that should be the content. Maybe that team of group stage, Kapu SBC, a loading screen, and marquee matchups today on this game. So that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.